So people have been doing consumable only challenge runs all the time since Demon Souls even. And it's no different for Elden Ring as well. Personally, I always try to showcase something different with my videos by adding an extra rule to the previously accomplished run. So I decided that for this one, we are only going to be able to allow to use consumables that can be bought straight from the merchants in the lands between. A very good idea for a lazy person like myself. That limitation means no crafting items, like all the different types of pots and perfumes, and most importantly, no access to Scarlet Rot or Sleep. You can see with this simple limitation, this run is gonna evolve into something quite challenging. Thankfully, there is still a big variety of consumables that we can choose from and play around with. Now, without any further ado, let's get right into it. But before we continue, let me first thank the sponsor of this video, Warhaven. Warhaven is a free-to-play PvP medieval fantasy combat game where two teams of up to 16 players each battle it out in a world like none other. You can pick from six different character classes, all with their unique mechanics and hop into a match with your friends to dominate the battlefield together. As someone who really enjoys medieval online multiplayer fighting games, Warhaven is definitely going to be on my Steam wishlist this upcoming summer. If you are an avid enjoyer of team-based medieval PvP with swords, battle hammers, spears, axes, you need to check this one out. It's also important to mention that if you want to be a team player and work together to achieve victory, you can. But you can also charge ahead by yourself and enjoy the thrill of combat. The game accommodates both playstyles really well as you can transform into an immortal, which are god-tier characters who can use their epic powers to really turn the tides of battle. The combat is simple to learn, but challenging to master, so you can expect a lot of fun from the moment you start the game and throughout your time playing it, as it's going to hold your attention for a long time while you try to master the intricacies of its combat system. Wishlist Warhaven now on Steam, and check it out for free during Steam Next Fest from June 19th to June 26th. I know I am going to. Again, Huge thanks for Warhaven for sponsoring this video, as ads like this help support what I do. Now let's get back to the run. As with every run I do, we are first gonna need to set up our build. Here I chose the Confessor as a starting class. He has a good stat distribution for us, as we do plan to incorporate incantation buffs into the build, as base consumable damage honestly kinda sucks. So we grab some throwing knives from the merchant Kale and go collect our body torrent. After that, we head straight to the wilds of Kaled. This run is almost a capitalism simulator, as the amount of runes that is going to be needed is wild. We are going to have to carefully spread it out between buying consumables and leveling ourselves. As not to disappoint, this run is actually gonna start off with not one, but two boss cheeses. First, we take care of the Knight's Cavalry by Lena's Rise, with a tried and tested procedure of rolling and baiting his demise. That's 42,000 runes in the bag. The other cheese is a bit more dangerous. It involves the bell bearing hunter at the isolated merchant's shack in Dragon Barrow. This guy is an absolute menace, a true late game enemy, but I do have my ways. We want to lure the hunter all the way over to the white slope to the right of the shack. Here, with just a bit of patience, positioning and trickery, we can eventually get the bell bearing hunter to just kind of slide off into his doom. Bro, the game has been out for a year and I'm still finding new shit like this, it's crazy. Anyways, he drops us another 50,000 runes together with the gravity stone peddler's bell bearing. Try saying that three times fast which gives us access to the consumables, gravity fans and gravity stones. The leveling strategy for this build is gonna be to get faith to 20, to cast our desired buffs and some vigor for the beginning so we don't die instantly. Later on we will be pumping some points into strength, dexterity and intelligence as our consumables will do some extra damage with those stats. For now, since we had the runes, we go ahead and travel to the specific merchants that sell the rest of the consumables that we require. At the roundtable hold we can now buy the gravity stones as previously mentioned, at the Weeping Peninsula we can get ourselves some very nice kukris, and in Kaelid yet again, near the swamp of Ionia, we can buy poison throwing knives and two types of poison stones, which are super necessary because they make the run actually doable in the later stages. Another very important thing for this run is gonna be Patches' questline, or to be more specific, we just need to progress his quest far enough as to when he finally appears in Volcano Manor, we can actually buy the most important consumable of them all, Fan Daggers. Now, these bad boys are going to be the main damage dealer of the run. They are actually quite broken under the right circumstances as you will see shortly. Alright, now what we just need is the Smithing Stones Miner's Bell Bearing 2, located in the Seal Tunnel. We don't need it for the upgrade materials, no no, this item also allows us to buy the Explosive Stones. If you haven't yet noticed, this run involves just a bunch of rocks and knives. In any case, now we just do a quick little detour to collect both Golden Vow near Volcano Manor and backtrack all the way back to Kaelid to pick up Flame Grant Me Strength behind Fort Gale. Be sure to also collect the two Finger Talisman as the plus 5 to Faith is still quite necessary. 
For the last and honestly most important buff, we collected the Jellyfish Shield in Lyrnia. These buffs are now gonna provide the backbone to our build, as without them beating the game like this would be quite a pickle indeed, if not impossible. With all that said, it's time for some good old fashioned boss fights. Come on my Crystallian, today is your final day. How long will it take to break his armor? That's the question here right now. Might take quite a lot actually. Maybe we need gravity stone fans, let's try gravity stones. Oh yeah, yeah. That was the only thing that we needed to do, guys. Absolutely destroyed. Well, that was surprisingly easy, though I've wasted like 10 explosive stones. Uh, and gliss, uh, glintstone scraps. Yeah, that's the last consumable, guys. We are completely specked out to our guilds. The only problem is now financing this shit. <laughs> Alright, drink, cast, margititis. That's a ton of damage, actually. And he's not too keen to actually dodge it as well. Yeah, this is gonna be easy. Poison Margit. Let's poison him here immediately so we don't... Yeah, two hits poisoned immediately. Yo, up close consumables are pretty nice. Whoa, fan dagger is a rock, man. I really thought this is going to be a challenge run. Why are consumables so powerful but bows are so weak in this game? What is the plan here, Miyazaki? Chow, bro, what the... Did you... That was the easiest Margit kill ever, honestly. <laughs> like, this was easier than fighting him with, like, weapons. <laughs> is the Blue Dancer Charm better or should we buy the Ritual Sword Talisman? I think we're gonna actually go for the Ritual Sword Talisman first, guys. Right in Gilika's PP. Let's go! Bro, these things hurt. Having the ability to poison things is really helpful in, like, all runs ever. Inner ass! There we go, Gilika. More damage, please! Ritual Sword Talisman, there we go. Alright, poison first, and then fan daggers up his ass. That's going to be the idea here. Okay, he's immediately poisoned, which is actually really good. Okay, now we... What the hell? Okay, Kukri's, de Kukri's seem to do a ton of damage to this guy. And they apply bleed as well. How is this so easy? Wait, why are consumables this powerful in this game? What is going on, Miyazaki? They really seem to be a little bit too powerful. We can just wait for the poison to take him out. I'm just gonna go away and watch him die by poison. Like, literally, how does this guy even have a great room? I should start the great room from the beginning of the game, not this guy. Prince. Alright, then we got felled indeed. Manchild rune, unlocked. Let me do a quick brain check here. Uh, I think we're gonna go Renala and then we're gonna go to the Stormfoot Catacombs and grab the, the Blue Dancer's Charm. I think that's a good idea. Poison. Oh my god, this guy is vicious like hell. He's not taking too much damage from fan daggers, guys. I'm a little bit afraid of the Red Wolf. <laughs> Come on, my golden retriever. Red Wolf. And you're dead. Good fight. Flame grant me strength. Hit Trenalas. Jesus. Is this phase one red... Wait, this... We're not in a one phaser, right? Bro, this is beyond broken. I'm not even joking. What the hell is this? I blinded her. I blinded the woman. Stop the nonsense, Renala. Stop casting mass Alzheimer's. Almost died. But she's dead. <laughs> Alright, fan daggers are a little bit broken, guys, I think. I also think Radan is actually going to be super easy here. Let's grab the second uh, talisman that we need. Yeah, 20 strength. Beautiful. Ha ha ha, now we have another buff, guys. GG, well played. Now it's over. Explosive stone one. Explosive stone two. Three. Oh my god, gravity stones are actually really powerful. They, they seem to be almost as powerful as the falling star beast, jaw. Da Die! Jesus Christ, okay. Bloom Dancer Champ, boys, nice. Like, we need more runes. I think Radan is just a better option over here. Let's just go over to Radan, boys. Flame, grant me fan daggers, please. Bro, 400 damage with a goddamn dagger is insane. What is this? Who thought this was a good idea, guys? No, honestly. Wait, am I gonna one phase Radan with... What is this? I never use consumables in these games, so I'm actually completely flabbergasted. Okay, fan daggers, ahoy. Oh my god, don't kill me, Radan. Okay, Radan, time for you to bite the dust. 
<laughs> that was a little bit close at the end, but Jesus, the damage of the fan daggers, my lord. How is this easier than weapons? <laughs> Let us see. Let's actually just go to the capital. Let's fight the Draconic 3 Sentinel, guys. Let's do the good old strategy of getting up behind his ass and smacking it a couple of times. Let's go up behind his ass. And fan dagger. This has to be a joke, right? Get poison, please. Thank you. Bro, you have no chance. Like, a guy, a guy with no weapons just absolutely obliterates these dudes. What in the hell? Like, we're just normally buffed. Like, we just have three buffs on us. Like, three buffs is not a lot, guys. Trust me. For Elden Ring, it's not much. All right, let's go. Hey, Godfrey. I feel like Godfrey's gonna be, yeah, an absolute joke. You have too much attack speed with pan daggers, so I can dodge everything perfectly while completely destroying his ass. From software, nerf pan daggers immediately. This just trivializes everybody. Look at this. <laughs> like, I remember my first playthrough when I actually got to this guy. I didn't do nearly enough damage. Like, not even nearly enough damage I didn't do. And now I'm just using goddamn consumables and I'm just destroying his ass. Bro got melted. Alright, let's go grab that green turtle talisman. Hello, my dogs. Morgoth, my boy. Feel the wrath of the fan daggers. Buff into oblivion. Let's go. And headshots. And more headshots. Come on, Morgoth. A little bit more. Surprisingly well. We can actually poison him here, guys. Now we just fight this guy normally and beat his ass. Be good to me, Morgoth. Take the fan daggers. Come on! And then, good fight. I mean, if Fire Giant doesn't give us a problem, guys, then I don't know. Because he just has a massive health pool, which will make him... Uh, will make him... Uh, not, not really fun. How do we do with... How do we deal with this guy, guys? Listen here, guys. I think we're gonna use fan daggers for first phase. We're gonna poison him, then we're gonna use fan daggers for first phase. And then we're gonna use Kukris for the second phase, so we can proc bleed. Stand still. That's a poison. Fan daggers! Oh, nice. More fan daggers. Okay, this is actually... This actually might work. And continue the massacre of the fire giant's ankle. Run, run, run. Run, you're free. Okay, second phase. Poison. Poison. Please, poison. That's poison. Kukri is the only real way now we can do this. Come on, how many how many does it take him? I'm starting to think he's not believable, guys, at this point. Oh my god, it takes so long. This might be a... Ah, we found our first problem, guys. The fire giant. Guys, I didn't win, guys. <laughs> no feet are yet necessary, guys. What the hell, fire giant? He's not supposed to do that attack. Oh my god, I almost died. Let's poison this guy. What? 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 God damn it. No! Come on. Poison, man. Poison and be poisoned. That's poison. Bye bye. That's got to be enough damage. Please, for the love of God, let, it, let this be enough damage. I actually think it's not enough damage, guys. Die, fire giant. Die. Whoa. And that's how it's done, boys. Alright. What is the plan for these idiots? What I'm thinking here, guys, is the same strategy I used in the archery only run. Ignore the skinny one and just fight the, the fat one. Because the fat one doesn't dodge. The fat one, come over here. Can't even be poisoned. I can't. Now we fan dagger. Oh, these idiots might be actually really difficult, honestly. They have a lot of health and we don't have a way to slip them. This strategy is definitely sound, guys. The hell is that attack? Okay, that lagged. Wonderful. Need more health pots for this guy. Fuck you. <laughs> oh, the, the Apostle is mad. The Apostle is mad. Not good. Oh my... was not to be, guys. Okay, so the foreskin fiasco is a giant pain in my behind. 
Not only do they take ages to kill, but managing your consumables while trying to keep yourself buffed all the time, all the while trying to dodge for your life, is a huge task indeed. So let us do more build tweaking before we continue with this torture. There is not much more we can do though. The only thing left to grab is going to be the Kindred of Rot talisman, which we get after defeating the Kindred of Rot, shockingly, in the seawater cavern. And after that we go and pick up the Mushroom Crown, which can be picked up after easily defeating the fake Mo in the sewers and then grabbing a secret teleporter at the bottom that transports you to the deep root depths. After that we just jump into a coffin that gets us straight into the Einzel River and the Lake of Rot respectively. Both of these items boost our damage output for a short while after the enemy has been poisoned in our vicinity. And since poison is a key part of our strategy to defeat these guys, this should at least help out a little bit, right? Man, this is by far the most annoying fight in this run, like... Lit what? His fat body was blo- Apply some bleed here, more bleed necessary actually. Alright, now, now comes the question of what is the best answer here. That uh, did no damage whatsoever, so how do we deal with these guys now? Okay, now we just need to chip them down, it seems. Slowly chip them down. No need to hurry this. This can be a long fight for all I care, just so we can win. Apostle, go away. Please, man, just go away. Go find something to do other than me. Metaphorically speaking, of course. Woo! They are so close, Toto, don't throw it. Don't throw it, come on. Come on! Yes! Fuck you guys. <laughs> Burn in hell. Looking at my consumables, that was... Nah, nah, we, we won't do that again ever, guys. No, 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 no. That is not something I do recommend. Trust me, I do not recommend this. Alright, guys. Malik of time. I think uh, let's just go with the strategy of building up bleed in the first phase and then we're gonna try to smack his ass with fan daggers in the second phase. I think that's going to work out pretty fine. Here. This is the run you want to bait out. If you can bait out this attack, you're always gonna be having fun against Malekith. Stay close, and he's always going to do this attack, and then he's easy to punish. Unfortunately, bleeding him doesn't seem to be actually viable, because he's a little bit too quick, and I can't actually apply enough bleed to this guy. Ah, there we go. Finally, bleed has worked. Come on, Malekith! Step into the fan daggers. Come on, Malekith. In the ass. We can at least always apply Jellyfish Shield, though. Come on. That was a perfect dodge. Gravity Stone. <laughs> the Gravity Stone finished it off. Nice. Good fight. That love move. Yeah, that, that last move was definitely not a, not a smart IQ moment. That was 20 IQ moment, probably. Bad content, I... Um, Gideon, Gideon, my Gideon. I'm just gonna wing it here. I'm gonna try Fan Daggers first. I think we're gonna have to fight him. There, there is not going to be a clever strategy here, I think, guys. Okay, what the fuck? Okay, I... I don't usually fight Gideon, so I have no idea what is even the best strategy here, guys. I fuck it. Unfortunately, that is the only attack that can, yeah. Mm. Nothing too clever we can do here. Oh my God. How much damage does this guy do? Now oh, we well. glintstone scrap, guys. We need to use everything in our arsenal to actually deal with this guy. No! More gravity stone chunks. More gravity stone chunks. <laughs> because he doesn't want to get hit by that, trust me. But he's going to get hit by that eventually. Gideon! Oh! Go away! That was way too hard, guys. Gideon should not be this hard, guys. Three hard bosses in a row, guys. I just realized something, guys. Radagon can parry my consumables. Alright, got free time. Oh my god, the fan daggers are at it again, boys. The fan daggers and their insane damage output. This is one of my favorite, like... Gameplay-wise fights, this is one of my favorite fights. Because honestly, just trying to dodge all of his attacks is so fun. Bro, Fandagas are the strongest there. Okay. There we go. Oh, what the... Dodge forward, dodge again forward. Poison this guy. 
We need a poison for this guy, definitely. Physical damage is going to be our friend here, guys. Like this. What an absolute giga battle. Come on. Oh. Off. Oh. Yes, okay. Yeah. Almost like. Come on. I think we can Okay. 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 We can punish this. We can punish this again. GG. First try, boys. I'll give about you, sir. That was an epic duel. Okay, that was that was five minutes of pure focus. Let me take a break here. The thing is, like, we are severely underleveled, guys, at this point. Like, we are level 97. I'm considering going first to Mo and uh, Astel because we need more level ups. We really, we really do need more level ups here. Come on, my man. Cooperate with me here. He should be poisoned immediately, right? Like, two of those should be enough. They actually are too enough. Okay, how do we hit the head? How do we hit the head? <gasps> jump scare, okay. <laughs> Astel jump scare out of nowhere. Okay, there we go, a bleed. But we'll see. He's very squishy when you fight the head. And GG Astel. Good fight. Yeah, it was super easy. Like, like Mo is much difficult, much more difficult than this. He's gonna go one more. Now we have an opening. The sooner we poison him, the better. That's the thing. He's poisoned. Nice. And now we do this. Buff. And we spam. We have a couple more openings here. This shackle headshots. Come on. Greedy. I'm way too greedy. Don't be greedy, Toto. Greed is the deadliest of things in this game. I'm not close range, but I can't actually be. Let's continue with this first. And now we cookery this guy. Cookery again. Nice bleed. One of the hardest fights in the game for me, honestly. And he's input reading again. Okay. Okay, that was a nice dodge. Oh my god, no, 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 no. Jesus Christ, this is why I don't like fighting more sometimes. Just grind this guy down. Glintstone scraps for the win. Just a little bit more. Come on, Mo. There we go. That was actually clutch. Ooh, GG though. GG, GG, Mo Lester. Good fight. That was a difficult fight. Very, very, very difficult. That was not easy at all. Okay, strategy for other one. A poison... <sighs> okay, this is going to be strategy for other one. We're going to poison him, and then we're going to be using throwing daggers against this guy. And the rest of the things we're going to be using against the Elden Beast. Here goes nothing. Up close and personal into this guy's face. Bro, this does no damage. Bro, this is going to be a chore of a fight. We need to keep buffs online all the time here, guys. Uh, because we're going to be missing damage 100%. That I can guarantee you. Yeah. Fan daggers are going to be the only way, I think. I'm not sure if you're going to have enough damage then, though. I basically must not miss with any of my consumables if I want to defeat these guys. I mean, maybe even without, like, stats, this might be impossible, honestly. Like, we even need cookies to finish this guy off. Oh, this is definitely impossible, guys. Jesus Christ. Let's see. Bro, that is no damage whatsoever. That is, like, zero damage. Okay. Cookery attack. This is more... This is worse than the holy damage only run, guys. Bro, the Elder Beast is fucking disgusting. Oh boy, the Rada Beast yet again. With its absolute bullshit of a health bar and immunity to almost everything. Since we are missing Scarlet Rod for this fight, we are in need for a good strategy here. First, I used something that I haven't used in quite a while, which is the rune farm glitch over at the Mogwin Palace. You could farm the runes legitimately, but that would take way too long. It took me a while, but I eventually clocked in at level 200, getting both dex and strength to 65 to hopefully do at least a bit more damage. The second key part of the strategy is, Radagon is gonna have to be almost entirely taken out by poison. Hitting him is very difficult, and if we miss too much with the other items, we're not gonna have enough damage output for that stupid fish. In any case, nothing much can be done here. Besides the good old getting finally good, I guess. Let's go. One more 69 damage stone. Die! Ay vey, die please. Thank Jesus Christ. Buff, we need fan daggers. 
We should be okay here, though. We have one healing flask, but I am confident pretty well here. Pretty confident today, guys. Mother Trucker. Come on, Elden Beast, Fan Daggers, OP as hell. Bro, if it weren't for Fan Daggers, this actually would be supremely more difficult. They have been extremely nice to me today, guys. This is insane. They are usually never this nice, guys. Let's go, Gravity Stones. Gravity Stone. Come on, come on. Now we are basically just cookies. When has Elden Beast ever... I'm actually amazed. Elden Beast is usually like the most... GG. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> Guys, stream over. We are done for today. <laughs> Elden Ring, bot consumables only done.